ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the next part of, uh, let's play, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear. Sorry about that. Um, in the last, uh, part, we just went through the Labyrinth Zone. Well, we just got finished with the Jungle Zone, rather. And we got through Act 1 and Act 2 of the Labyrinth Zone. So now we are going against the boss of the Labyrinth Zone, which is similar to the, uh, second boss, but, uh, not quite, and god damn it. I, I really do hate this boss with all my heart. This boss always gives me one heck of a time to uh, try to overcome in this game. This is where I get the majority of my lives being taken away. Because it's hard to anticipate on when to jump on him, and it, it's just really annoying. So, uh,. What I'm going to plan on doing, because he shoots a missile each time he uh, is on top there, and what you normally want to do is uh, try not to hit the damn missile. Because he shows up at the bottom, you can hit him once, because he has both of the cans on each side of his uh, capsule. And then when he goes to the left or top right, he will uh, shoot a missile that can home in on you. And that can be quite annoying. But, uh, we'll see if I can handle this bad boy. But you can normally wait until smoke starts flying out from the rocket. And, uh, that's when you can anticipate on, uh, when dodging that goddamn missile, god damn it! Fucking hell! I would not recommend watching this part if I'm gonna cuss too much in this part because of this boss. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I've I mean, it's it's one thing, you know, I got the pattern down, sort of. One thing I just lack is the timing of dodging those damn missiles. Alrighty, well, I guess I figured it out for the most part, but. God damn it! That's what I hate about this boss. You know, the missile can pop out in any minute um, when you try to attack Dr. Robotnik, and it's so damn annoying, and. We're not even getting into the final boss in this fucking game yet. And it's, you know, again, it's been a while for me since I played Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Game Gear. Because I think literally the last time I played this game was, uh, when I unlocked this game on, uh, Sonic Adventure DX for the Nintendo GameCube. And, uh, I think that's the last time I've, uh, played that game. Fuck off. I think I got the pattern down this time. I think I got the pattern down this time. Oh, and this is weird, but this is the only part where... This is the only level where, um... Sonic adapts to breathing underwater. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know. I managed to lost four lives. That's okay. I still got my continues. <laughs> Wasted about four minutes of this uh, recording, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll get through this. Anyway, we're at Scrap Brain, and I just uh, realized that um, in the last video, I named it Brain Scratch Zone. And the reason for that is uh, because... Um, I had Brain Scratch on the mind, I guess. I watched, uh, I watched Brain Scratch commentaries. They're a funny group. I would recommend watching them. Uh, and I, and, uh, bleh, I just lost a life. But, um, generally this level is not as bad as the Genesis port of this game. I mean, sure, there are electric orbs, there are fire, um, there are flamethrowers on the ceiling. This place is practically a maze. And what I always don't remember is um, 
whether the Chaos Emerald is in this act or the second act. But we're at the end of the first act already, so I don't think it's in this act. Yeah, 46 seconds to clear um, Scrap Brain Zone Act 1. How amazing is that? <laughs> Alrighty, so. But I do believe the Chaos Emeralds is in this act. Take the top path when you see a fork in your way. Oh, well, uh, okay then. Alrighty. Let's go on ahead and, uh, get our way to the. God damn it. Get our way to the top here. Ooh, rings. Not like it'll matter. I'll probably lose it in the next 10 seconds anyway. Alrighty. But, uh, a lot of people get confused. You want to take the top path. Well, um, the talk uh, blah I cannot speak today I apologize um, the top path first and this is where uh, you would uh, get your chaos emerald but you gotta anticipate uh, I think it's the third pit so this is the second pit this is the third one let's go on ahead yep okay I, I remember correctly and uh, you go into this uh, teleporter here and there's where that's where you get your um, chaos emerald. Now, a lot of first players that would play this game, how would they know to check there to find their chaos emerald? Especially if they were planning on getting a perfect um, run in this game by getting all the chaos emeralds, which will lead to another chaos emerald where I would have never thought to look. Ouch. Just take your time. You don't want to die here. But, um, yeah. So we got our fifth out of uh, six Chaos Emeralds collected in this game now. We are just approaching the end of uh, Act 2. And there's particularly not a boss act in this, uh, well, in the next level anyway. It's actually Act 3 before we reach the final boss of this game. But that's for, you know, I guess it's either in this video or it's in the next video. I don't know. It depends on the time limit I have here. I have 8 minutes going now. Actually, if I want to be more specific, it's, uh, seven minutes and 57 seconds but uh whatever but I think we're at the end of this uh, act already you gotta hit that switch so that you can make it over here with no issues whatsoever a lot of people get confused that you have to take the top path first I just hope I don't die at the end of this act, but luckily I didn't. And we are approaching the third act of uh, Scrap Brain Zone. Huzzah! Probably my po this probably will be the last episode because we only have two levels left. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five Chaos Emeralds, and I know exactly where the last level is. I mean, the last Chaos Emerald is rather. Oh, there is a boss act in this zone. Oh. oh, I never knew. Well, then again, it's been a while for me, you know, because... Just go down. Because it's, it's been a long while for me since I've last played Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Game Gear, so... I get a little confused for the most part. Oh god damn it. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Alrighty. And I think we're approaching the end of the level. I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong, I think. Oh well. Got an extra life out of it. Can't really complain. And I mean, if anything, you know, 
uh, I'll get a bonus level out of it too, which I really don't want to go through because I'm uh, strict on time here. But uh, we'll see what happens. I didn't mean to push that button. So uh, let's get out of here. Chase the fat bastard. Fuck you. So let's follow him to his uh, egg mech. I forgot what the level is called exactly, but we'll follow him anyway. Because it seems like a good idea. We gotta stop the bastard. Sky base. Alrighty, so this is where the last Chaos Emerald is. Um, there's actually two acts. It's not, the Chaos Emerald is not in this level yet, thankfully. <laughs> We got Orbanauts, we got annoying orbs of lightning that conduct electricity. So uh, you want to be careful on that and not die. <laughs> but uh, yeah, normally not an issue, normally not an issue. So uh, let's go ahead and collect our rings and god damn it. Uh, I hope I don't get hit. Jesus Christ, that was close. What the? Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Alrighty. I think it's safe to go up now. Let's go on ahead and uh, wait for that to end. Oh, God damn it. Alrighty. Well, again, it's been a while for me since I've, uh, played this uh, game so it does not surprise me that I am screwing up so often but uh here's a tricky part you gotta wait for the lightning strikes to end while uh, trying to uh, board this uh, flying platform I guess we'll call it alright let's go on ahead and jump up here and this is the end of Act 1 for Sky Base Zone. And as much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to have to end the part right here, ladies and gentlemen. But in the next video will actually be the finale. So we'll be going through the Sky Base Act 2 and get our last Chaos Emerald in the game. And then we'll be going against Dr. Robotnik one last time. So, uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010. Happy gaming, my friends.